Buying new construction homes in Atlanta is changing, and to get the best deal possible, you have to understand the mind of the builder and why they do what they do. Lender incentives, design credits, builder incentives, all these things are used by the builder to motivate you to buy their home. But if you don't know how to get these from the builder, you could be leaving money on the table when it comes to buying your new home. And this is why one thing that you need to do to get the best deal possible is use a real estate agent. Obviously, I have a bias because I'm a real estate agent here in Metro Atlanta. But think about why the builders would say, oh, you don't need to use a real estate agent when you're buying new construction homes. Obviously, it's because they know that if you have a real estate agent, they're not going to get as much for the home. They're going to net more money if you don't have a real estate agent. So it's obvious that using a real estate agent is only going to help you. Here are a few things that you should be doing or that your real estate agent should be doing when you're buying new construction. One, they should be checking lender incentives. Most builders, if not all builders, have some kind of partnership with a lender that is going to give lender incentives if you use them to buy the new construction. And these are definitely a good idea. Most lenders are kind of the same and have similar interest rates. And if you can get some incentive from using that lender, then by all means, that's something you should do. And one thing that is really popular right now is the lender providing a two to one buy down or the builder paying the lender for the two to one buy down so you get a better interest rate. What this is, is the builder pays the lender an upfront cost when you buy the home. And for two years, you have a lower interest rate. After that second year, your interest rate goes back up to whatever the market value of loans are at that time. But for that first couple years, you would have a big decrease in your interest rate, which is a big benefit of using the builder's preferred lender. If you're thinking about buying new construction in Atlanta or any of the suburbs around Atlanta, definitely feel free to call me anytime. My phone number, my email address is there at the bottom of the screen. And we love helping people make that relocation to the Metro Atlanta area and helping them purchase their home. Another thing that I would be doing for my clients if they were buying new construction is checking on builder incentives. These builder incentives are sometimes posted on the website, but sometimes you kind of have to get it out of the listing agent or the agent there who's on duty, what kind of builder incentives they are offering. There are lots of builders, especially right now in Metro Atlanta, what we're seeing is that there are a lot of homes that are new construction that are not moving or being sold quite as fast as they were a couple of years ago when interest rates were down to like 3% and there was tons of buyers in the market. This is when builders are like, oh, we need to build, build, build. And so there's a ton of neighborhoods all around Metro Atlanta that are kind of in the middle phase of being built. And now that interest rates have increased, the builders are providing lots more incentives trying to get buyers to come buy their homes. The benefit is that all of these builders are competing against each other. And so they're almost all offering some kind of incentive. If you're not asking, or if your real estate agent isn't asking what those incentives are, you're definitely going to be losing out. A few things that I've seen them do is cover closing costs. This is a big one, especially if you're using their preferred lender, they're more likely to cover closing costs. Down payment assistance is something that I've seen them do. And now that I mentioned down payment assistance, you should also know that here at Atlanta Suburban Living, we've now partnered with a lender who is offering down payment assistance for all homes, not just new construction. For qualified buyers who it's their first home purchase, it's $3,000 in down payment assistance. And then if it's not your first time buying a home, it's 2,500. So definitely reach out if you have any questions about getting a loan or if you are thinking about moving here to the Metro Atlanta. And then another builder incentive that we regularly see here around Metro Atlanta is offering design credits. There's the base price of the home. And then if the home is in a specific, more desirable area in the neighborhood than another, there's a lot premium for that home. And then if there are any structural upgrades to the home, that is an increase in the price there as well. And then lastly, design credits. Design credits may be things like window coverings or the material that they are using for the flooring, maybe appliances. And we have regularly seen builders use these design credits to 
entice people to buy their home. So that's certainly one of the incentives that you might find a builder offering for new construction homes. The most likely time of year that you're going to be able to get all of these incentives is towards the end of the year. This is when builders really want to try to get as many sales in as possible to maximize their end of the year numbers. And so towards the end of the year, this is when they're going to be offering really as many incentives as possible to get buyers. Something else that we regularly do for our clients is help out with the inspection process when it comes to new construction. This is definitely a must and usually happens a couple weeks or so before the closing period, whether you are buying a home that is like not built yet, they haven't broken ground at all, or you are buying a home that is kind of in the middle of the process, either way, that inspection period usually happens a few weeks before closing. So let's talk about what that inspection period looks like. At some point, the builder and your real estate agent are gonna come up with a time that works for you to go by the home to mark out any different things that you see that are a problem with the home. If there's any paint chipping, or if there's any problems with cabinets that don't necessarily close, or of course, any major issues, an AC system that's not cooling, a hot water heater that's not heating, anything like that is going to be a problem. And those are the things that you're going to pick out during this scheduled time before your closing date. Now you can have a home inspector come out to the home, but the builder is most likely going to want that to happen before that scheduled day where you go to point out any problems. That way, all of it kind of happens on the same day. You and your home inspector and your real estate agent are there pointing out the different problems to the builder. Many builders would call this the blue tape check, and it's called that because you would use blue like painter's tape to mark out different problems with the home. Here at Atlanta Suburban Living, some things that we always check for is that we want to make sure that all of the cabinets and drawers open and close properly. The HVAC, the hot water heater, like like I mentioned, we want to check all the appliances, making sure that they all turn on, that they're all connected, that they all function properly. Doors and windows, making sure that every single one of them open and close properly. Flooring is a big one. Typically where we see issues with flooring is at the transition. Maybe it's like from a hallway to a bedroom. If it's a different flooring, like if it's carpet in the bedroom and some hardwood or something in the hallway, that transition is sometimes where you might see like maybe the transition hasn't been done correctly or there's a gap or something. Those transitions are common problems for flooring. Drywall can sometimes be an issue with new construction. Again, these are just things that you want to be checking. The most common part of the drywall where we find is like the end caps where they put the, I don't know, like aluminum cap over the drywall to protect it. And those can sometimes separate from the drywall. So we want to make sure that all of those are installed correctly. Now, also plumbing, we would run the water for 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes to make sure that all of the plumbing is functioning properly. And then of course, electrical switches, things like that. We want to turn everything on and off to make sure that all of it works properly. So if we do notice any issues with any of these things, we would use that blue tape to mark, hey, there's an issue with this, issue with this, and all of those things would be resolved by the builder before the closing date. One big way to save a lot of money on new construction is buying homes that are already built. Again, this is super common here in Metro Atlanta as there were lots of builders a couple years ago building homes. And then when the buyers kind of slowed down, there are a lot more homes that have already been built that don't have buyers yet. So this is a great way to get a deal on a new construction home. Most likely the builder is trying to sell that home a little bit faster because the faster that they are able to sell homes, the better. And they don't like standing inventory, just waiting around with no buyer. They want to be working on homes that already have a buyer. So if there is a home that is already built and doesn't have a buyer, that's a great way to get a good deal on a new construction home. Of course, another great way to get a good deal on buying new construction is to use cash. This would allow you to not necessarily need an appraisal. It would allow you to close earlier, and these things would definitely be rewarded by the builder. The builder should be giving you a deal if you're able to close sooner or not have an appraisal. These are the kinds of things that a builder wants to try to avoid. So if you can avoid delaying a closing, 
then the builder should be able to give you a bit of a deal because you're using cash. Now, one thing that you definitely want to check on before you go under contract with any new construction home is the amount of the deposit or like the down payment. When you sign for a purchase contract, whether it's new construction or not, there's typically a deposit that's held by like the closing attorney, in some cases, it's the builder that is, uh, it's like an escrow account, it's a deposit that's held. And so it shows the person who you are buying the home from that you are obviously able to buy the home. For some builders, that deposit can be as high as 10%. And for some builders, it's as low as 1%. And that's a very big difference. On a $500,000 home, we're talking about the difference between $50,000 and 5,000. So a very big difference, especially because it's sometimes difficult to get that deposit back if you are needing to terminate the contract. So certainly something that you want to look at. One of my favorite builders, Toll Brothers, recently started building homes here in the Metro Atlanta area. The homes there are incredible, huge kitchen islands, entire walls of windows in the living room, massive primary bedroom, tons of space. But the thing is that these homes will not break the bank. It's unbelievable just how well priced these homes are. In fact, if you wanna see what these homes look like, I made a video going on a tour of some of those homes. It's right here. I'll see you in the next video.